Just confirm an IC3 male will be coming away from the vehicle in the next 30 seconds. Yeah, we're going into the flat. It's stopping now outside uh, Oak View. Just yes, received that, Oak View. A fast decision is now vital. We're going to have to approach it. Come on. It's stopped Oak View. It's going to be getting out. And it's been taken. Got any update for us? By PC Richardson. To, uh, get one from the inspector if you just stand by one. I'm going to have to speak to them. Hiya, mate. Can you say a word, pal? If they're out of the vehicle, they can approach him and check him. Fortunately, his boss agrees. Yes, from the inspector, if the male occupant's got out, you can approach and check him. Have a... Is it your car? No, no, I'm free. All right, that's fine. Uh, Renault Laguna. Yeah. They're checking him anyway, so they'll be asking for a bit. No checking him, innit? You're not in been any trouble or anything, have you? Nothing at all? You got anything with your name on at all, yeah, Tommy? Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's, thanks ever so much, mate. What do you do for the Home Office? Yeah. What do you do for him? Oh, no, I'm um, asylum. Yeah. Oh, asylum seeker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just bear with me. The driver is clearly no threat, with no idea the car is on the police wanted list. Sunshine made the call that he didn't have a firearm of some kind. Unfortunately, it was the right call. Name check, please. There is not an area where one particularly wants to be getting into falling out with people on the street. Yeah, so one deals with the job expediently, speaking to the guy, checking him out, and using the evidence for intelligence purposes. Yes, there's no trace on that name check. I don't like having to do that. That is a little bit too... You just make the call, don't you? And you just hope you get at home at night. Obviously, I'm alarmed, so you have to make the decision what to do if the vehicle does stop, which it did. Things can go wrong, and you just hope that you've assessed correctly. And it could be that you come up against someone with a firearm or a weapon of some kind. And so, in some ways, it is sort of a leap in the dark, every job that you do go to. The level of violence and the use of dangerous weapons in Nottingham has become so serious that it is one of the few cities in Britain to have armed bobbies on the beat. In West Nottingham, there's been another robbery. At a bookies this time. Possible robbery at a bookmakers in Elkiston Road. Domes, Domes bookmakers in Elkiston Road, but... Yeah, 10-4, is there any mention of weapons? So we're just trying to find out now if you can go to the area. It's a report of a robbery at a bookmakers. So it's uh, on Ilkeston Road. Just trying to clarify whether or not there's been any weapons used. We'll try and get some suspect descriptions, but we'll make straight to the scene. There is definitely a natural adrenaline surge. It's the thought of what you're going to face when you get there. It's possible shots have been fired. You know if they have a firearm, well, the chances are that they may well use it. When you go to any job nowadays, it has the potential to be dangerous. If anyone said, that they didn't feel a certain amount of apprehension. I think they'd probably be economical with the truth. Charlie Romeo 9010H. We're state six. Again, the robbers are a step ahead of the police and gone with a bundle of cash from the till. How much have they got, much you got away with? Or? In excess of 2,000, I would say. Anybody hurt? Would you, no. I'd just have the safe to do the banking. Yeah, Romeo 90, um, we've had approximately £2,000 in cash stolen. Can we have scenes of crime to the premises and also ensure that uh, CID have been notified from supervisory at the scene? Over. Oh, you say about £1,000 stolen? Yes, yes, confirm. Approximately £2,000 in cash have been stolen. I see two guys come in with uh, some high-end bar or something and uh, they jump over the counter. And say they want all the money, open it, open the till, open the thing, I want all the money. Is the lady all right that works here? Sorry? Is the lady all right that's I think a bit shaken up, but uh, yeah, she Thank you. We depend on the cooperation and support of the public, and we do need them to come forward and make statements, because unless they do, the kind of incidents that we're talking about will just continue. Yeah, we've located a witness who uh, saw the. Uh, potentially offending vehicle drive off uh, from the scene down Oakston Road, Lima registered, that's all we can say. Any description of offenders? No, just wearing Alicarbas too. Yeah. 
that's affirmative. Um, possibly two offenders. We're trying to get um, detailed offender descriptions for you, but there's uh, at least four or five witnesses here at the moment. It's already clear that this robbery is not connected to the earlier one at the post office. The police are now looking for two sets of armed robbers. I wouldn't be sitting here saying I think I've got an explosion of armed robbery in Nottingham, but I think we do seem to be dealing with at the moment a spate of similar and possibly linked offences. There has been this trend over the past few months, which is certainly something that we're looking very closely at and developing a response to. Car criminals are also at it today. Reports are coming in that a stolen Audi A3 is driving around the city. It was spotted earlier in the day by a CCTV operator parked in the centre of town. Before he could do anything, two men got in and drove off. And out of camera range. Confirm it's the Black Art A3, Fox Rock Delta 51. It's now 2.30 and PCs Ray Greenhill and Martin Foster are after it. When the report that it was stolen came in, one of our operators told CCTV that it's been stolen to keep their eyes out for it. So they've been monitoring the cameras that they've got in Heiss and Green, and as luck would have it, it's been spotted. We have had a gang of lads who have been uh, robbing from security core vans that have used A3s as their getaway vehicles, if you like. So this vehicle may be being used by them. For the time being, though, it looks like the Audi has either left the city or gone to ground. If this car's going to be used as a getaway vehicle, normally they uh, keep it locked up in a garage before they actually do the job. In the centre of town, in the market square, there's another alert. A group of white men have been seen arguing with Asians. People in the square fear there may be trouble. Hello, police, can I help you? Hi, um, I'm just in the market square now. There's a gang of lads causing trouble. I've seen previously in town today doing exactly the same thing. Right, sorry, did you say it's one or a group of? It's four, four or five. Right, OK, and one of them's quite a big lad. They're all big lads. People just because of the colour of skin. Can you give me a description of clothing? The main protagonist is wearing a dark blue t shirt, all wearing jeans, age ranges from 26 to 35, two skinheads, the man with the blue top who's got short but uh, curly brown hair. Thanks very much for your call, I'll get someone out there. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. PC's Blinko and Brophy are still on duty. It's been a long day, but they're the closest. They've asked us to go to Market Square. Apparently, there's four um, youths who've been going up to black and Asian people and being racially insulting towards them today. Just at Market Square now, so see if we can see them. Before they can even get out of their car, two men are complaining they've been attacked by Asians. What's up, Jim? We got a fucking Ahmed Ballo. Yeah. You know, left us alone. What do you can't believe it? Whereabouts did it happen then? Over there, by the square. Right. You let a packet just jump to No, no. You can't say that, mate. Where did it happen then, chap? Whereabouts did it happen? Just down there. Right. Charlie Romeo 90 to Central. You don't look, do not say that, okay? Do not yeah, say, do not yeah, say that. Do, yeah, just do not say that. Say not, Asians, okay. Right, Asians, Asians. yeah. Asians. Okay. We just come down there, just. Me yeah, sorry, 9-0. We've got uh, two white males who claim they've been attacked um, by a group of uh, Asian males with baseball bats on Market Square. Have you uh, had any reports? With no direct link to the CCTV control room, which has been taping the incident, PC Brophy has no way of knowing what really went on. His only way of finding out is to question the men who are making the complaint. Show me where it happened, please. Just show me where it... Right. Just here, was it? Yeah, You guys been here long? Have you seen anything happen? About five minutes, OK. Well, with two men at the moment, uh, the state and they've been assaulted by a group of Asian youths on the Market Square. We're just going to try and see if we can pick out the lads. PC Blinko's going to take a look around for signs of an Asian gang. 